I'm Jason Wimberly, celebrity trainer, 20 years experience, over 7,000 classes. We're at my newest home called Health House, right in the center of West Hollywood. Each week, we're gonna be working with a different queen. What is this circus of life foolishness? Last one? Oh, I don't know if I have oh, one more. Oh, you do, take it to oh, your knees. There it is. With each girl, we're gonna have a different focus. Bring that elbow inside, touch that ankle. Oh my God. <laughs> They're all things that you can do at home with me. So if you're watching us at home, get off the couch, move along with us. I feel like a Wimber woman now. Oh, mm. Wimber woman. I really think the most important thing is that we have a ton of fun. I'm so excited! Yes, yes honey. Workout's a drag, but we're gonna make it fabulous. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Oh, so good to meet good to you. you. Mwah, mwah. This is Health House. This is my new home. Isn't it gorgeous? I love. Yeah, it's so it's, good. I obviously coordinate the retail to my office. See your guess. merch, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, uh, how do you feel about a big chest day? You ready? Let's do it, so yeah. Come on in. Okay. So I just want to chat with you a little bit before we get started yeah. about like how you maintain this amazing body on the road. <laughs> well, it's not easy, first off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When we're in a bus on tour, we don't get hotel rooms. So there's no hotel gym to even like kind of make it work. Like I have to go out and find a gym. I want to show you a few different chest exercises today. I know that you are a professional in the gym pretty much and you're probably going to teach me <laughs> some tricks. But there are a lot of things that I notice as a trainer of 20 years that people do wrong, right? And yeah. especially chest is one of those body groups that can really easily go into other parts of the shoulder and we can we want to make sure we're doing it correctly and safely, right? right. So first off, we have a push up. Okay. And I'd love to show you what you think a push-up is. Okay. Why don't uh, you I feel show like I'm going to be your... judged very harshly yeah. right yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> you can go ahead and drop one down and give me like five of your best push-ups. Okay. Let's see what they look like. And don't f*** it up. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, she's perfection, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that was a perfect push-up, obviously. Okay. Good. You know what you're Good. doing. But what we see most of the time in the gym is not perfect, right? So go ahead and do a bad one for me. Why don't you take your hands nice and wide. Okay. Like too wide, right? Okay. So this is what we want to avoid. Cameron's hands are wider than they should be. A good push-up is bringing back in underneath the shoulder. Perfect straight line from the shoulder to the hand. Now go ahead and lower down, babe. See how our elbows go back at a 45 degree? That's ideal. Push on up. Let's do one more just for fun because you look so good doing it. Perfect. Want to okay. see a bad one? Yeah, take a break. Let's do a you bad take one. a break. This is what we want to avoid if you're at home joining us. You don't want to take those elbows out to the side. You want to make sure they go back to a 45 degree angle. So from overhead, you're making a perfect arrow shape and not a T. Do you have any idea why we do that? Um, I feel like you're, are you getting more shoulder that way? Correct, yeah. so good. So we really want to isolate the chest, hands underneath the shoulders, 45 degree angle, get as deep as we can and make sure your butt's not in the air. Yeah. And I want to show you a few different push-ups that you may not know. Okay. We're going to try an X push-up. I'll do it first, you're going to go down the middle, you can do opposite arm, opposite leg, reach, down the middle, and switch. Drop down nice and quick, and explode up, opposite arm and leg. <laughs> <laughs> so right arm, left leg. There we go. There okay. we go, that okay. works. Which one's which? That well, doesn't matter, as long as they're moving. There you go, perfect. So your heart rate gets up a little bit faster because yeah. we're using our core to stabilize. Yes, and take a break. If that's a little advanced, let me show you a quick modification. Take your push-up down on your knees and pop up for the push-up, pop down, and pop back up for the X. Okay. Easy, right? Yeah. What about a T push? Have you ever heard of that? No, I don't Great. think so. That was an X. Where would a T go? I love this these. way. Opposite way. Yeah. So we're gonna go down the middle, guys. We're gonna take that push up right in the middle. I'm gonna open up to the right. Down the middle, open up to the left. Wanna give it a try? Down the middle, open up each side whenever you're ready. Perfection. Good. We'll do like 45 more of those. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, yeah totally. Perfect. Just keep Just going. 44 more. And... That's it. Gorgeous. You can take a break. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> I have a heart rate. I feel yeah. it. It's there. It's working. Oh, it's kind of like a plank, too. Yeah, yeah. so you're getting a lot of core. Okay. By engaging more of the core, we can burn more calories. We can stabilize our body, make sure we're safe. And you'll get bang for your buck when you're on the road. Cool. This is my favorite one of all push-ups, super advanced, so this is going to work towards. We're going to call it dive bomber. So we're going to start at the top of the push-up, hands underneath the shoulders, 
lift your butt up like you're doing an Instagram post on a thoughtful Thursday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna scoop on through that push up as you lift the chest. Bend the elbows. Push it back the other way. And then isolate the upper chest. Okay. Booty up like your ex-boyfriend's behind you. Okay. Now scoop it through. Yes, lift your chest and now bend your elbows as you reverse the entire motion. By going backwards, we're gonna isolate this part of the upper chest. Take it back. Ugh. Piece of cake for Cameron Michaels today. Give me a little breathing, are you breathing? <laughs> trying, trying to good. remember breath how to breathe. Breath is good, breath is good. Perfect, let's go ahead and work our way over to this bench. We're doing our chest press. We're gonna take the weights on our thighs to start. How we get the weight up is really important. So kick your knees up so the weight comes to your shoulder. Go ahead and push your arms overhead. And before she starts anything, what we're gonna think about is rolling these shoulders back. Literally roll the shoulders back on the bench and go ahead and lower down for two counts, Cameron. Down, two, and up, two, good. So at this incline, 45 degrees, she's isolating the upper chest, which is what we want today to show up that gorgeous body, especially when it's in a bra. <laughs> good. Gorgeous. Now, how do we get the weights down? Let me show you something real quick. Instead of dropping the weights directly to the side, which could throw out your shoulder, yeah. always bring them straight down to your knees and round yourself up. Yeah. Piece of cake, right? Yeah. Lower down. Good. She's keeping her abs engaged. Lights are up like she's Dolly Parton on stage. <laughs> oh, and I'm here in case you need it. Uh, Last one. Oh, I don't know if I have oh, one more. Oh, you do. Take it to oh, your knees. There it is. <laughs> Got it. Easy. Drop those down. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Cameron, Miss Michaels, yeah. bodybuilder Barbie, let's recap what we learned today. Okay. So we had three different push ups. First one was a standard push up. Elbows go back 45 degrees, lowering to the floor. What else did we learn today? The X push up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And then? T push up. Explosive nature from the bottom of the push up and open up, find your balance. And our last push up variation was? The dive bomber. Dive through lifting that chest. And we finished off with our incline press. We kick them up to our shoulder as we lean back. Roll those shoulders back as much as you can. And the most important part, bring our knees up and take the weights right to the thighs. And then we put them on the floor. We got our chest done. We're pumped up. Yeah. Tits are on. Everything's ready. They're good. But I want to have a little offline conversation about sort of body image in the gay community. I know it was an inner dialogue for a really long time of how to sort of accept my body how it is. I really struggled for so long just accepting like, I'm gonna be a smaller guy yeah. and that's okay. You can yeah. be whatever size you need to be, whatever yeah. size you're born, right. but we want you to be healthy and strong. I think for me, um, just my internal struggle is just the body dysmorphia that I have always had, but you know, it, we still have to fight it every day. And it becomes this thing, we wanna be bigger, we wanna be this, we wanna be that, and we don't have to think like that. Once you start working out, you realize that it's just a good feeling. Yeah. And the aesthetic that comes from it is just an extra added benefit because once you start working out, you realize, oh my God, I feel so good. And you want that and you get addicted to that sure. rather than what you look like. And I think that's something that you connect to after a while of working out. Just getting your body moving, making sure you're sweating every day. That's really what I care about most yeah. for all my clients and for all of us. Because yeah. the gay community can be really polarizing. It can, it can be really tough. I mean, you just have this aesthetic that you want to reach and it's, it, you have to learn that it's not that important. It's not important. It's not. And it's not attainable for everyone. And that's okay. Man, woman, in between wherever exactly, you are, yeah. you have all these different angles of what you should be. And it doesn't matter what anyone else says. Yeah. It matters that we're happy and feel good. Exactly. I know more than anyone else that working out can be a drag and a lot of work, but more importantly, I know that it needs to be fun. So can yeah. we put on some heels? Let's drag up this workout. Yeah, bitch, let's go. Ooh, that's so much better as well. Ah, that? good, okay, <laughs> now feel I feel more at home again. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> have a seat, Miss Michaels. Ooh, here we go. Lean all the way back. Chest workout's always better in heels. Just give a little extra fun on it. One more. <laughs> Perfect, drop those weights down. I feel like I've seen this video before. <laughs> okay. It's called a whimper woman. <laughs> you got it. Come on down with me. Down the middle. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Come on, get it. Uh, got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Ooh. So that was way more fun on heels, right? Oh, so much more fun. I feel like a whimper woman now. Oh, mm. Whimper woman. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Be uh, uh, uh. <laughs>